going to unbox a new camera. Um, it is called the uh, Firefight 8S. Uh, it's a new version. I got the uh, no distortion version. I think it is just uh, it just released within a lot in the last few days. And um, let's open it and see what's inside. So we've got this camera. Okay, um, let me remove the sticker first and let's take it out and see. Take a look at the camera. Texture, it feels pretty good. And um, yeah, let's uh, end this box on the other side and see what we've got. Uh, some instruction and uh, more stickers, some cleaning cloth, and a lot of different uh, mount. And I have to uh, download the software first while it's uh, charging, and I will show you uh, more later. I think my camera is charged and let me show you how it works. So first I'm going to uh, insert the SD micro SD card to the micro SD slot. So let's turn it on first. There is a button here called mode button slash also the power button. When you hear the beeping sound, it means it's turned on. And then you can see the LED light is blue here. If it's uh, in the video mode, it's, uh, it will turn blue. But if it's photo mode, it will turn green. They also have a, a selfie camera. They call selfie mirror in the front. But I don't think it's useful at all because uh, it's just like a decoration in the front. It's not much use. It's not very useful. So and let's flip it around. And you can see now I am uh, in the video mode. I can also switch to photo mode. And the button on the side is this is the up button and this is the down button. You will know when this uh, button is used for the menu. When you check the menu, you uh, wipe. Uh, you can select from right to left or left to right. And also, we have the uh, battery door here. It's not very easy to slide open. Maybe I. Yeah, like this. This is the battery. And they also on the other side they have a HD port and a USB port, but they already label on it, so you will know. Oh, and when you press this the down button for three seconds, it will uh, the Wi-Fi will uh, uh, will be on. I don't know what's going on with the mobile right now, so I'm going to turn it off first, and then turn it back on. So I turn it back on and on the side I choose this now this this one is the menu they have the settings photos bust playback time lapse and long exposure and here in in the menu in the setting menu we have you have to push the down button to select we have a photo size photo quality long exposure photo stamp self timer photo burst uh, time lapse, lapse photo sharpness awv ev value iso may uh, metering uh, photo size photo quality and if you want to go uh, check it you have to push the button on the top here that's called the ok button 
you push the button and the uh, default setting is super fine so we'll leave it at that and then if you want to check the other functions you can by long exposure let's also go to if you want to um, self timer photo burst photo burst is for you know like uh, it takes photos continuously like maybe three seconds uh, per photo or five seconds it will just keep doing it and they have the sharpness let's go to the uh, sharpness sharpness is uh, normal Okay, when you want to uh, select the setting button here, you have to click this small button over here. We have a quick capture, delay off, TV mode. Let's check the TV mode is uh, NTSC. They have power and NTSC. As I say, it's uh, the default setting, light frequency, OSD, LCD brightness. They have tons of options. And the... Uh, the language, oh, one thing I have to mention is the language, it's uh, the default setting is English. They have uh, two more language for you to choose. One is uh, Chinese and the other one is Russian. I know a lot of uh, people concerned about uh, the language settings. They are afraid they just uh, have the Chinese setting, but actually not. It comes when I, oh, uh, when I turn it on, you can see it's the English version. And the auto shutdown function is for like after two minutes, I think. Then it will auto shut down. Yeah, two minutes. If you are not doing anything with it, it will shut down by itself. That's the beep beeping sound comes from. You can turn it off also. Status LED is in the front. Now it's blue. It's because it's in the video mode. It's uh, it's for recording. And the time setup uh, automatically it updates the time. I think. Little language. Wi-Fi, yeah, the Wi-Fi function you can um, connect it to the, it's for connecting to cell phone so that you can also uh, uh, modify, uh, you can also edit the pictures and your um, videos there and the Wi-Fi SSID is just the name of Wi-Fi you can uh, modify and if anything goes wrong you can just go back to the default setting and reset everything And because they have an app that you can uh, download, so I downloaded it. Uh, they have the card here for uh, the QR code for you to scan. By ready download, it's here. So it's called Fly Firefly Cam. So, and uh, I have to connect it first. Uh, as I say, uh, if you push the up down button for about three seconds. The Wi-Fi will be on, so the Wi-Fi is on, and I will go to my settings. And the default password on this camera is one two three four five six seven eight, and then connect. Okay, when well now it's connected, we are going back to connect it with our camera. So you can see it's the. You can see it from my camera. Yeah. You can see me from here and actually the setting here is all they have on this uh, camera also it's what I just show you so now I'm going to uh, shoot a little video of myself and I'm going to change the I think change the uh, video resolution first and I'm going in, I'm going to choose the... Okay, now... It's done. And ha you have to push the mode button to cancel it also, like to quick out everything. And... 
went to Middle Record. Maybe uh, on this side. And let me. All right. So and then I can go check my video in here. In the cache, yeah, it's uh, it has to cache a minute. Uh, I wanna if you wanna share it, you have to download it first. So I will just start downloading, and maybe later I will go check it. Maybe after I download, it will uh, be smoother. Okay. I set up my usual camera with the and also the Firefly AS camera. I want to compare their quality and so you can see here this is the camera one and camera two and uh, Firefly camera and my usual camera I have to go out to run some errands and I'm going to bring it with me to uh, test it Um, so this is the Firefly AS uh, review video. I hope you guys enjoy it and if you want to buy one I definitely recommend it because the video and the photos they came out really nice.